the fern. A poem by Rosa Jamali. Translated from original Persian to English by the author. I was a seven-story being, covered in scarce species of a plant. And it was a funeral ceremony. And I was the only single mourner. First I grabbed a gemstone from this very soil. And then sealed and knocked it over my forehead. I returned and had a glance at my homeland again and I wept. My father was the phoenix, my mother a restless goddess in Shusha and Hugmatana and on the tomb of Mordecai. But God was with me. My far-sighted binocular eyes are a camera in this deep darkness, a whole dark loophole. And I'm the dumb and voiceless myth of clashes of spoons and forks at the dinner table. Deity of the Nawab Highway, heading the cemeteries. At east end of this city. What's pouring over your head blow by blow and non-stop, incessant? What is this entire dirt and filth in thorns and dust? Which is covering things in a very slow pace, gentle and soft. What's it like? What could it be? The fairies had nested on my dark hair. And I had washed the fairies, drained them, brewed them like rice. You knew the time well, the moments are lingering, it's yawning, and sleepy. That very frozen moment and then absolute silence. While with my wounded nails on the stove, I was boiling over the saucepan. When I covered the whole scene of the Revolution Square and erupted like a volcano. Perhaps I had just kept my face pale with bleaching. I am the fern. The orphan land. The stepchild. Fostered land. Burned. And forbidden. And infected with all kinds of diseases, fake gurus, lies and manipulations. What has captured your heart and attached you to this land, brother? The country which has been completely burned, half buried and the other half contaminated with lead. The songs are left. The fern I am. The goddess of, growing wild flowers. The lady of thorn and thistles. Upon the sorrow of the talisman woven into my country. And how I digged the mountains. What have you done then? Only a handful of soil which has been displaced. Makes me bewitched forever. Ashes which have been sprinkled over Bozergmer and Yazdgurd and the Great Republic. My ashes which has been spread over the seas and over the far oceans. And I have been resided in the waters of the river Tigris forever. The stale smell of dampness. The spider which has nested right over my head. And you had foretold all this. You had already seen it. The naming ritual is over. Turn off the lights. Tomorrow is a Saturday. Oh, I will not sigh. Mirrors have grown over my index finger. For I have wept the waters of seven seas in six thousand years. And I have taken refuge in the corner of a chair in fury. The sidewalks are deserted. Passers-by are the perpetual dead. And this deserted military zone. Has no longer been residential. I yielded to the wines. And packed. Giving away my body. And giving my soul to the windshields. It came to pass in a second when I became a yardbird. A captive for thousands of years. To the bitter end. My words were ashes and carbon dioxide, coal. The fern is an ill-bred wild seed, off the rails that is not given a name, not called by a name. It's exactly like a lettuce leaf, not happened to be named. But it's peeled. Misshaped, warped, and deformed. Why should it be named in the first place? 